Another week, another game-winning drive from C.J. Stroud. Let's relive the ups, downs, and the roller coaster that was the Texans' 30-27 to dub over the Bengals. Let's go inside the locker room. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. It's the locker room on YouTube. You know what it is. Let's get it. Hey. Another W. My goodness, are things really changing? It is the locker room number one source for Texans daily digital content. I'm Landry Locker. You can hear me Monday through Friday, 10 to 2 Central, Sports Radio 610, and the Odyssey app. That's where you'll get the exclusive interview each Thursday from Texans straight off the practice field. So be sure to ride along there on the Odyssey app. Be sure to ride along here for the best Texans digital coverage. We do it every Monday, the highlight reaction uh, from the Texans game. Sometimes it sucks. Sometimes it's awesome. Last two weeks have been awesome. Although some of you may not have survived yesterday's game because of a heart attack. Now, this is a highlight reaction. This is not a film study. I'm not one of the people who puts up clips pretending <clears throat> to have broken down the tape. Uh, this is reliving the highs and lows uh, of the Texans dub each week. Uh, let's start this off. Uh, in the uh, first quarter, Texans down 7-0 uh, after the long touchdown. Uh, Texans with the rock. Uh, they talked about wanting to establish the run until they had to abandon it. This week, Cincinnati pretty vulnerable. Uh, Devin Singletary right off the top sets the tone. Watch the way he finishes this run right here. Get off me. Get your ass off me. That's one of those they have fun with uh, in the film room. Um 341 in the first, CJ looking, find Schultz uh, right across the middle. Dalton Schultz has been, of all CJ Stroud's weapons, he's been the only one that's been there every single game. Nico has missed games. Noah Brown's missed games. Tank has missed games. Every offensive lineman has missed games. Robert Woods has missed games. Dalton Schultz has not. And I don't think it's a coincidence. You talk about, we, we, we talk about Laramie Tunsil, false starts run blocking, et cetera. I don't think it's a coincidence that Dalton Schultz's production has gone up uh, with Laramie Tunsil holding down that left side uh, allows him to uh, go out a little bit more. Another run to Singletary. Look at that cut. Right there inside the 18. Uh, this was after, by the way, uh, big response by the Texans D. This is the Tank Dell drive. So you have the pass right there where only he can get it. Uh, he had the reverse earlier in the drive, if you remember, where Hutchinson uh, pitched it to him for 13 yards. This right here, like when you talk about size concerns and stuff, this isn't something you do with someone who you're worried about their size. It's first and goal. This is just the old swing pass, the old San Francisco 49er swing pass to Tank Dell. Swing pass-ish. Right there in the open field, got linebacker safeties right there. He's just going to say, nah, ain't no finesse in this game. Touchdown. Tank Dell drive right there makes it 7-7. Then you could tell the Texans were confident because immediately after that, they're dancing. They're down 7-0. They're on the road against Cincinnati. Let's, let's, let's get ready. Let's let them know we're here. And that's when you knew that the Texans were ready to roll. The response by the defense twice. I think this is the Texans' third drive. Uh, and by the way, that was after the, uh, the drop snap. Uh, so the defense responds after the drop snap, and the Texans go there and get the response right there. 7-7 uh, seven, seven here. This is just C.J. Stroud buying time. Noah Brown. We would see a lot of that. 150 yards for Noah Brown. Uh, been the second highest graded receiver by PFF uh, since his return in week eight. Only C.D. Lamb is ahead of him. Another toss to Schultz. Kind of gets tackled by the uh, – the turf, unable to score there. Cincinnati, just all over, all over Joe Burrow. Sheldon Rankins, one of his three sacks. Joe Burrow trying to trying to get chippy. Texans not backing down. Third and nine. There he is again. Sheldon Rankins spinning off, not giving up on the play. Boom, bring his ass down, celebrate. Sheldon Rankins was a stud. Biggest investment they made in the offseason. Look at Singletary here. Look at Dalton Schultz. We talk about Dalton Schultz, the lack of blocking. Any Cowboys fan uh, you hear talk about Dalton Schultz, they talk about his, his unwillingness and his inability to block. 
Looked like a pretty damn good block to me. Show me that replay. Watch this replay right here. You got Fant running out there. Watch Dalton Schultz right here. No Andrew Beck. So Schultz is lined up at fullback. Typically, you have Beck in this situation because uh, he's more used to it. Let's see how Dalton Schultz fills in for Andrew Beck. What do you want for breakfast? I don't know. Kind of feel like pancakes on the ground. Boom. It's right there. Touchdown. A little bit later in the game, 20 to 17, this is where CJ is going to use his legs. Remember when the talk was he doesn't use his legs enough? Uh, 2017 game, fourth quarter. Bengals just cut it down to uh, to three. C.J. Stroud right here. Looks like uh, they're in man. So when they're in man, quarterback take off. That's what he does there. Touchdown. Feeling pretty comfortable. Ten-point lead right there. Someone dance with me. Got Hutchinson out there doing his thing. These receivers like to block, too. There you go. Just perfect decisive touchdown 10 point lead a little more interesting than it needed to be <laughs> this was uh 27 17 Bengals with the uh with the ball interception right there and this was actually a bailout of Jalen Petrie Jalen Petrie had actually missed a uh, play in the backfield uh he gets bailed out here no, no, um, no, Jimmy Ward, no problem. Bengals get the ball back again. Four minutes remaining. Uh, again, Jalen Petrie. We talk, d d are, are you are you closer to Kareem Jackson and Tyron Matthew, or do we need to start talking about Jalen Petrie like Graylin Arnold and Jonathan Owens? You tell me what he's closer to because he dropped an interception here as well. But once again, he gets bailed out this time by Shaq Griffin. Not sure what the hell Burrow was doing here. Maybe he was a little uncomfortable. He's got Grenard coming after him. Boom. Take the knee. Don't even think about it. Boom. Should be the game. Then you have Bobby Slowick uh, on third and six. We fast forward uh, to the final drive. You had Bobby Slowick on third and three with 340 remaining. Uh, he elected to <laughs> throw the ball. Interception down inside the 10. The Bengals score. Uh, third down again, throw again. Uh, Bengals with the long play to Boyd. Jalen Petrie with another whiff uh, of Boyd. Bengals end up settling for three after the Boyd drop. Uh, and then this is the game-winning drive right here, third and six. At this point, you're wondering, man, do we just need to get this to overtime? Not when you have C.J. Stroud and not when you have number 86. Look at Dalton Schultz right there. Dalton Schultz is looking right at C.J. Stroud. What do you see? What do you see? You better see me. Schultz just right up the middle of the field. CJ steps up in the pocket. Boom. We're in business. 45. Probably need about 15 yards for field goal range. Texans decide not to call the timeout. So we're snapping the ball here with 15 seconds left. A lot of people, including the announcer, saying you should have called timeout. Eh, maybe not. Schultz here again. You got to think he gets some attention. Uh, his uh, fellow for, former Cowboy, uh, Noah Brown behind him. Uh, one of the bigger plays of the game right here by Noah Brown. Just kind of frees him up. And look at that right there, the target line right there. That's a 50-yard field goal attempt for, for Matt Amendola. If Noah Brown goes down right there, that's a 50-yard attempt uh, for Matt Amendola, who wasn't even on a team last week. Noah Brown wants to make, it, make his job a little bit easier. Let's get an extra 10. Might want to get your ass down, though. Bengals trying to hold them up. Texans get the timeout called, and now it's that Matt Amendola guy. Now, tell me how y'all felt, because on the first field goal, he had this post. He basically whispered in the ear with the football right here. Now we're going to get this post. Amendola lines it up. Bada bing, bada boom. Ball game. Texans win, Texans win, 30-27. to 27. Shouldn't have been that close. Bobby Slowick, uh, teachable moment, as they say. Dalton Schultz, C.J. Stroud, love you, bro. Joe Burrow, damn, can't believe we just lost. Texans feeling themselves. Amendola already a part of the squad. The team real happy for him. Uh, that kid not happy, probably crying on the car ride home. Boom, ball game. Texans get the dub. Another exciting one. Here's another angle. 
We zizz it in. Goodness. Too close for comfort. Got the dub, though. Cam Johnston. There you go. Three more weeks at least without Fairbairn. That's the uh, highlight reaction. Later tonight, we do it after every Monday night football game. Uh, we'll talk about the state of the team. We'll hear from D'Amico Ryans. We'll see what D'Amico Ryans had to say. Also got the 10 biggest figures from the game. Referees, no bulletproof vest for you, uh, but we're going to recognize the 10 guys that need to be recognized, and we're also going to go hardo and go on to Arizona. Subscribe, like, ride along. Appreciate you for coming through. It is the locker room, number one source for Texans daily digital content, number one source to get your Texans digital content and uh, listen to me Monday through Friday, 10 to two central sports radio, 610 and the Odyssey app exclusive interview straight off the field coming up. Thanks for coming through. And always remember when it comes to this Texan stuff, we're all in it together. Appreciate you. Texas talk. Yeah. You know what we about to do. Localize every angle is what we really do. We the source, we the post of the city too.